gonna kiss it. I want the leaves to start falling. I want it to start drizzling a little bit. Nice. <laughs> I've got <laughs> octopus prime. <laughs> Magical. Hi guys, so for today's video I have the, well what I've bought from the Halloween collection from Lush for 2024 and I'm so excited. This year's collection looks so cool, there's so many good products, if I could have got it all I would have because honestly it all looks amazing. Um, I ended up getting I think 16 things. <laughs> but yeah, I'm here to share it with you guys today and show you what I got and we can all talk about it and you can tell me what you got and we can all say how amazing it is, it's gonna be exciting. Yes, let's get into it. First off as well, if you are new to my channel and you haven't come across my videos before, feel free to subscribe. I do lots of Lush videos. Please give the video a thumbs up as well because that really does help me too. And yeah, I'm really excited to share this. Whoop. Worth noting, I did try and film this last night. My parcel came super late, it came at um, half six. So I tried to film a video at about half eight last night, but the lighting was just absolutely horrendous. The baby kept waking up just wasn't working so I have this box is open and I did show two things in the video and then I'm not gonna lie to you guys I, I just couldn't resist the box was sat there and I was like I can't wait till the morning I didn't look at it all I looked at about three more things but so I've sent five things in total so we've still got 11 as a surprise so yay I need coffee I'm so tired this morning yeah we'll just get started because of the fact that I didn't film last night, it actually reminded me to write down all the details of everything. So I've got all the price. Well, I have the prices on my packing slip anyway, but I've got the actual scent and I've got the scent notes instead of me trying to guess <laughs> and then putting it in the writing. I've got it all here for you guys, so we're good to go now. So the first one we have, which I think is going to be one of my favourites, is the Scream Bubble Bar. It is just too cute love it so it's a little purple brick with um a little sort of ghosty ghost face on it is all a bubble bar this looks like it could have been a soap or something else but no it is all bubble bar and i'm so excited because this is toil and trouble scented oh, and to me toil and trouble along with lord and miss rule is lush halloween to me um it reminds me of my favorite time of year when it's cold the air is crisp you can chuck on a jumper it's just my favorite time of year and this is one of the scents that reminds me of this time of year so i love it this guy is six pound fifty yeah so he is toil and trouble scented the scent notes in that are lavender peppermint labdanum patchouli and sage so it is a really herbal sort of fragrance but it does have a beautiful sweetness to it as well oh, if you haven't ever smelled this in person i'd highly highly recommend it absolutely stunning i got a feeling i might get one more of these to last me throughout the year well not the whole year but this is very very nice <laughs> next one that i got out last night on video was the frankenstein bath bomb and this guy is too ah, too cute he's too scary um i think this is going to be the first one that i try out because i've seen videos of him and he looks super foamy really just amazing so i'm very excited so the frankenstein bath bomb is six pounds it's a new scent um so it's galbanum pine geranium and fir balsam and i can confer that this is a um confer confirm this is a very green not your typical green scent it's very tree like it's very le leafy leafy it's really really nice though there's like layers to it there's a hint of floral as well it's it's a very it's a very very nice scent. I wonder what they're gonna call this scent if they do end up keeping it around. Frankenstein, gorgeous. We like him a lot. Then I ended up getting out. Let's start with this one. I got the hocus. I got out the hocus pocus soaker. So I know what this. I think I know what this smells like anyway. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is Ave bath scented. Let me get my trusty book. Yep. So hocus pocus soakers bubble bar seven pounds. Ave bath scented. So um, scent notes of lemongrass and bergamot. Ave Bath is just classic citrus, really refreshing sort of citrus scent. That's all it can be described as really. It reminds me of like a lemon, like a lemon sherbet slightly. It's a very nice scent. They've used it in a lot of stuff recently. I'm not mad at it because I love Ave Bath scent, but I feel like some people are a bit like, we've had it a lot recently, but I love it. 
I don't care. This is really cute as well. It's the same sort of like design as like the comforter, blue skies, fluffy white clouds, the ones with the little sweaty pans on. And I'm all about this bright, what would you say that is, yellow or green? I'm My partner always questions my judgment when it comes to colors, so I don't even guess anymore. I wanna say like green, green. <laughs> yeah love it next thing we have i grabbed this one out last night as well so i do know what this one smells like vaguely it's interesting i won't lie this soap it's a soap it is the pumpkin pie soap i believe it's called let me double check yes pumpkin pie soap this is six pounds this is madam president scent and that has scent notes of pettigrain and grapefruit this is when I put my hand in the box, I grabbed something out by like random. So I had a little surprise and I thought this was a wax melt because <laughs> it's, it's that, like what? It's so, what, what, what do you call that? Moistureful? I don't know. But this is definitely going to be moisturising. I can feel it in my bones. Now, I know a lot of people um, don't like this scent. I haven't smelled it before. Now I have. <laughs> If I smelt this in person, I perhaps wouldn't have bought it. But it doesn't offend me too much. I will happily use this. It's just very unusual. To me, it's like, um, like I don't mean this if you do like it in a bad way, but it's sort of like if I'm cooking like a Thai green curry or something and you've got like those real fragrant spices coming out of it. That's what it gives me, I won't lie. It's very savoury. It's a really savoury scent. Like food savoury. I don't hate it though, but I also, it's not my favourite, but I definitely don't hate it. We're not mad at it. Then the last one that I plucked out last night, just to give myself a little Halloween vibe, um, the rest will be a surprise, was the Glow in the Dark Shower Gel. Now, it is daytime, so I don't think I can demonstrate this glowing in the dark, but if you know me, you know I'll try all of these products out on shorts for you guys. And I'll demonstrate it glowing in the dark on there because I'll be able to do it. I usually obviously bath at night um, and I can show you it in the dark then. But we're broad daylight now. It's the morning. Um, this one, is this Ave Bath scent as well? I think it might be. Let's check. This is Ave Bath scented. Um, so your lemongrass and your bergamot again. This is £7.50 for 100 gram, which is what I got. £16 for 250 or 24 for 500 So this is a cheaper shower gel in general which is nice. In comparison, this is a lot stronger. I mean, obviously, is it? I don't know. I always find bubble bars to be the strongest and bath bombs to be the strongest smelling things. This is nice. Can I just appreciate, Lush, how high you fill your bottles? Like, a lot of companies, like, fill them to here, but Lush ain't playing about. They're like, you fill that to the brim, sir. <laughs> it's a nice, mild Ave bath scent. I, I do sometimes think that the bottle distorts the strength of the fragrance so I do like to pop a bit on my hand these days to give it a better go stronger outside the bottle to be expected but still very mild compared to the bubble bar but it's going to be nice nonetheless and I wonder if it'll make your skin glow in the dark like I doubt it but that would be fun if it did moving on so the rest of the stuff that I have is a surprise so we've got 11 more things I think yay I should probably hurry this up I really hope this isn't too long for you guys I'm sorry you know what I'm like. <laughs> Next up, I have the Scammy for Scares Shower Gel. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, can you see that glitter? So obviously you can scan this little QR code here. I say obviously, you might not know. I do apologise. So you can scan this QR code here and it basically takes you to a YouTube video. I think I don't know if there's a jump scare and then I think there's some scary tunes that you can play when you're in the shower, scrubbing yourself with this. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm excited to look at it. But the colour on that, jeez. How gorgeous. It's literally like glitter nail varnish vibes, but obviously it's not. Let's smell this one. On the front it says follow i haven't read the fronts of these sorry oh it's only one bottle i haven't read which was this one this one says expect a really good wash with refreshing lemongrass and it glows in the dark simple pimple this one says follow the qr code for a truly blood curdling spine tingling shower experience cranberries give a thrill seeking cleanse just don't forget to triple check you lock the door behind you mm. 
stick a bit on my hand like we do. It's giving me Cherry Bakewell vibes off the bat. But let's give it a hand sniff. Can you see that glitter? Wow. Sorry, I've got a pen on my hand from last night. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It is giving me Battenberg Cherry Bakewell almond vibes. So almond mixed with cherries is what it is giving me. Now it has a cranberry infusion in there, fine sea salt, corn syrup, cedarwood oil, vetiver oil, almond essential oil. There we go. I don't know where the cherries is coming from for me. Maybe it's the cranberry. I don't know. But to me, it smells like cherry bake wells. If you guys got this, what do you think it smells like? But this is gorgeous. I'm really excited to try this one out. Mm. So the Scam Me For Scares shower gel. This one's a bit more pricey. So it's £9 for that 100 gram bottle, 19 for the 250 and 29 for the 500. Moving on. Oh, I'm so excited now because I think the majority of this is like bubble bars and bath bombs and stuff. Right, ooh, that's smaller than I thought it would be. I suppose it was only cheap actually. Um, this next one is I Want My Mummy Bath Bomb. <laughs> so cute. Just plain white on the back and then a little pink bandage mummy on the front. This one is one of the cheaper ones, I think. So. This one, oh wow, it's four pounds. It's never mind the ballistic scented. So that's lime, sweet wild orange, and olibanum. It smells blooming stunning. Oh, I haven't smelt that scent in a while. That is nice. To me, it's like a powdery orange. Very good, very good. Yeah, so a nice little cheaper alternative from the collection. I appreciate that Lush might not be the cheapest in everyone's eyes, but that is one of the cheaper ones in the collection Ooh, okay i thought they'd given me two of the same then i was really confused we've got two lush mounts the two only two lush mounts i'm pretty sure they've released so the first one we've got is the pumpkin spice oh so pretty look at the luster on that gorgeous so this one says capture the scent of the season with a warm pumpkin spice latte melt for your bath or wax burner. So these ones are both seven pounds each. Oh, sounded like a wolf then. Oh. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's not too like strong or offensive or in your face. Um, I do find some winter scents can be really obnoxious, like with like loads of cinnamon and stuff like that. That's really gorgeous. A light hint of coffee in the background and then I think you can predominantly smell the pumpkin. <laughs> so you've obviously got like shea butter in here, almond oil, cinnamon leaves, you've got a bit of cinnamon in there, clove bud, ginger, oh it's just so autumnal isn't it? Jojoba oil, pumpkin seed oil. Oh that's really really lovely. I don't tend to use these in my bath but I might try it out again. I tried it once and it left a ring and it annoyed me. I mean, it did leave me moisturised, but the ring annoyed me more <laughs> than I wanted to be moisturised. So I only have really used them in my burner, but I might give it a go in the bath again. Look how stunning that is. Wow. <clears throat> the next one. This one is Roasting Chestnuts Lush Melt. So sorry, that pumpkin spice one is pumpkin spice scent. It's, yeah, scent notes, cinnamon, clove, bud, ginger. And the next one we have is, that's really odd because I don't overridingly smell cinnamon in that one, but hey-ho. Next one we have is the Roasting Chestnuts Mouth. This is Roasting Chestnuts on an Open Fire scent. <laughs> and it's got scent notes of cassia, cedarwood, clary sage, Betty Bird and almond. Let's have a look. Yet again, stunning. It's got a little gradient to it, which I can't actually get my hand around it. There we go, do it that way. Gorgeous, and you've got a little bit of shimmer on there as well. Not quite as much as the other one, but. Oh, mm. Ooh, I kissed it. <laughs> so the front says, cozy up with sweet cassia and almond oils as a smoky vetiver and woody cedar would wrap you in their warmth. That is an excellent description. I don't think I need to say anything else. That's pretty much what it is. It's overriding with sweetness and I can smell the almond a lot. Um, but then it does have that little after, I call it an after sniff. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what you guys call it, um, of smokiness, but only an ever so slightly subtle bit of smoke because if it was too much smoke, I wouldn't like it. That is 
is lovely. Oh, I just want it. I want the leaves to start falling. I want it to start drizzling a little bit. I just, or snow. Give me a bit of snow. Mm. I'm just feeling it all. It's meant to be warm this week as well, and I'm just totally over it. I just don't want warm weather. Go away. Go away. Sorry, I'm like living off coffee this morning. Rudy woke me up at three o'clock in the morning. Think about sleep till five. Went to sleep for half an hour. Then decided to thrash about for the next hour when I tried to force him to go back to sleep. But he wouldn't go back to sleep. So mummy is tired and a bit do lally. <laughs> okay, next up, I can see a pot sticking out. So I know what this guy is. Oh no, I don't. It's not what I thought it was. But this is even just as exciting. <sighs> this is the toil and treble shower slime. So as you may or may not know, last year they did the Toy and Trouble Scrub, which was absolutely phenomenal. I used it up just in time for this Halloween drop, well, before the spoilers came out, because I thought it would come out again, because it was very popular and everybody loved it, but it didn't. So I'm very sad we don't have the scrub back. I think a lot of people are sad about that, but next year, Lash, next year. <laughs> but we do have a Toy and Trouble Shower Slime instead. The slimes have been very popular recently. I think that's why they have brought, out, brought it out in a slime. So this says a slippery peppermint and lavender slime with a lathering little bat <laughs> tucked in the centre. Let's take a look at him. Ooh, schnaddy. Oh, I can smell it already. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I could die happy with this and Lord of Mistral being the sense that I smell last. You know, like these two together is going to be the most amazing bath of my life um do i have wet wipes to hand i don't shall i get the jelly bat out for i'll get the jelly bat out for you let's take one for the team shall we charlie is it a jelly bat no what was it a scrubby bat i think yeah it feels solid <gasps> amazing I can't really get the slime off of it, but I assume when you're in the shower, that's a little purple scrubby number. Did I say it was a scrubby or a soap? I'm so confusing myself. I'm just getting way too overexcited. A lathering little bat. So a soap. It does feel like a soap. I won't lie. I would have preferred that if it was a scrub to be fair. Is it a scrub? I don't know, guys. I don't know. We'll find out when I demo it, won't we? So stick around for the short of that one. So the Toil and Trouble Shower Slime, I think you can only get one size in this one and it's £8 for the 100 gram. And obviously with your Toil and Trouble scent, you've got lavender, peppermint, lavender and patchouli and sage as your scent notes. Stunning. Let's see what else we've got in here. This is the Witchy Woo Bubble Bar. Look at that. I think I've got an end piece because that one's a bit endy and then this one's all smooth. What scent is this? Absolutely gorgeous. Zesty. Have I not smelled zesty before? I think you can get a spray in that as well, can't you? That is blowing gorgeous. Oh, wow. I like that a lot. So it's a zesty scent and it's got scent notes of lime, olibanum and neroli. £7 for this. Mmm, I think it's the lime. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. I'm excited to use this one. Gorgeous. What do you guys think of this one? I think that's my favourite smell so far. Wow. Other than Twin Trouble. That's really gorgeous. That's very strong as well. I like it a lot. Oh, I can feel the other pot. So. Oh, I've got it all in my hair. Do ignore. We've got octopus prime <laughs> so for the octopus is octopi is it octopi this <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> for the octopus ones this year they've done three sizes so you've got your regular one which is 10 pound for 185 gram 18 pound for 500 which is this one and then you've got 40 pound for 2k uh monster octopus scent which has scent notes of passion fruit vanilla black currant sweet wild orange and tagiti's tig oil I did Google that last night, I think, as I say it. So, worth noting, for the two kilogram one, you can't get it online. Um, 
it was said to be in stores but i did see someone last night i think i saw them post something saying anchor stores i'm not too sure what the crack is with it to be honest with you so if you want one i'd probably just recommend ringing at your store before you go if you don't want to make like a wasted journey um but we've got the middle size here i think they do all have individual names the little one is called i think he's like original octopus or something this is octopus prime and then i think the big one is giant octopus so let's have a look at him let's give it a sniff first mm, beautiful i knew i'd love that scent i didn't get one of these last year and i regretted it for the whole year <laughs> so this time i thought i've got to get the biggest one that i can get online really lovely sweet scent sort of like a fruity berry like with a bit of candiness to it should i get this one out is it gonna it's gonna juice everywhere what can we juice you onto a t-shirt here we'll use this oh my goodness look at him <laughs> he juicy 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 oh that's stunning a bit sherbetty as well that very nice though he's got his little eye here he has five little tentacles. i mean he's a monster octopus so he probably isn't like a regular octopus with the eight legs but we'll forgive him for that i love him Ooh. so i mean you can compare him i guess to your little one you've got if you've got a little one to gauge the size he covers like both my hands worth noting i have quite big hands for a girl as well if that helps so he's a big boy i don't know i'm glad i got this size though very glad let's pop him away and get cracking because i'm making this video very very long for you guys i do apologize but i hope you're liking it i hope it's exciting because it's exciting for me mm. <laughs> i can't i don't know where we're at i don't know how many things we've got left Ooh. so next up we have i think this is called the enchanted fairy house so this is one of the bombshells. So you open up the little lid and then inside you've got lots of lovely little bits. I think this, there's powder in here and I watched the, oh, did anyone else watch it? The, um, <coughs> sorry, choking on the dust, the live shopping event last night. That was so fun. They need to do more stuff like that. That was really enjoyable. I really enjoyed that. And the exclusive product as well. Did anyone grab a snow fairy? This again, might not be everyone's favourite. This is Madame President scent as well. I've got, I can't lie to you, it's growing on me. But it is really savoury. It's the probably the most odd scent I've ever smelt from Lush. Very savoury. Well, it's not the most odd scent. I've smelt odder, to be honest. But I've never like smelt something so food savoury-like. It's very spicy and interesting. But I'm very excited to try this one. Let me just confirm. Yes, it's Enchanted Fairy House Bombshell, 11 pounds, Madam President scent, so petty grain and grapefruit. Ooh, pretty. Um, this one was out last year, but I didn't try it, so I did grab it this year. This is the Magic Potion Bath Bomb. Looks very, very pretty. Ooh, gorgeous shimmer on that, and then the back of this is pink. I think they mentioned something in the video last night about this being like um, grapefruit powder coloring. So it's a natural color, which I thought was really cool. Um, this is Yognog scented. I've started to like Yognog a lot more in but, um, like bath products. Like um, I enjoyed the Donkey bath bomb, but I don't care for it in the shower gel. It doesn't have that odd after scent to me in the bath bombs, but it does have it in the shower gel um did i say how much this was this was six pounds so yognog scented so almond clove ylang ylang and maple syrup i wonder if it's the clove that gives me the odd scent towards the end <laughs> magical love it very nice i'm excited to try that um did they demo it i don't think they did i think i've seen someone use this though it's very very pretty oh no <gasps> i broke it I bloody broke it, what an idiot. What a pissing moron. Broke it. Next up, this one is so cool. This is the Invaders from Mars Bubble Bar. This one is six pounds. Here's Nevermind the Ballistic scent as well. So lime, sweet wild, orange, and olibanum. Stunning. So it's got the same scent as the Frankenstein. 
bath bomb so a lot of these scents are doubled up in this collection which i mean is nice in a sense because you've got a bubble bar and a bath bomb that go together which is nice but this guy is real cute look at him we like him he's a little creepy skeleton guy with a brain God, that scent is gorgeous though stunning absolutely stunning right i think i've got one more thing in here if i can find him i found him <laughs> that was quick and again this one was out last year i think it's been out a few years um and it's the pun pumpkin pumpkin bath bomb i was like pow pumpkin pumpkin Ooh, nice so this is five pound fifty it's almond buttercream scent so cinnamon lime sweet wild orange and red mandarin it is um i can smell i feel like it's the lime and the cinnamon more and then a little bit of orange is that like ginger in there as well or something very spicy very halloweeny very no, i'm not even gonna say that thing it really pisses me off that, that trend that's going on recently nice we like we like yes are we done charlie one two three four fifteen sixteen we're done 35 minutes later i really hope i can cut this down for you guys if i can't i do apologize um yes that is what i got from the halloween collection this year i'm thoroughly very happy with all of it absolutely love it all um even the sense i'm not too sure on the madam president not too sure on it but i, I do like both of those things so i'm very happy let me know what you guys got in the comments what your favorite thing is from the collection that you have got if you've tried anything yet let me know because i know a few people bought theirs early oh, i'm just so excited stay tuned for demos of everything i hope you all have a fantastic day and i hope it starts getting colder soon because i'm so in the mood for it you know this is really giving me autumn vibes <laughs> yeah hope you all have a great day i love you all very much bye